this is this is the bedroom. There used to be a, a wedding dressing here, and that used to give a lot a lot of good energy as well. Um, there's usually good energies around the bed. There's a picture up on the side there, which gives that a lot of good energy. And also the jam was saying earlier, if I sit in the mirror, it's trying to torch up in the air. If you want to sit there for a while, you might see your face changing there. A bit of scrying as well. For the moment here the energy is quite strong, but then I would expect it to be strong in here anyway. How's everybody else feel? We just feel good actually. So yeah. good? Yeah. yeah. Can you feel someone in here with us, or? Um, I always, it? I always feel like there's somebody in here with us. Um, so this, this is the main bedroom. I always felt there's, there's always somebody in here. Um, I always feel like she's, the, the spirit in here. She's usually watching what everybody does. This is her room. Man, there's a really good strong energy in here. Is there any spirits in here? Would you like to come forward and speak with us, please? There are a few gadgets around. We've got a little green light on here. If you come near us, the green lights will change. We're not here to harm you. We're just here to speak with you. Would you like to come forward and let us know you're with us? You can feel you're here. Please let us know you're here. I've got a whispering of Elizabeth in my ear. What, in this room? Mm-hmm. Okay, the spirit in here. Your name is Elizabeth. Please can you confirm by making the green lights change. If you go near the little device that's here with the green light on, if you just go near it, the lights will change. Can you please confirm you're with us? If your name is Elizabeth, come and say hello. If you don't want to speak to anybody, can you touch somebody? Sometimes you'll feel something just touching your shoulder or your legs or something there. So if you do feel anything, don't be afraid to shout. What's the temperature of the room? Has anyone got a, a reading for it? 22.1. Okay, so we keep an eye on that, see if it goes up yeah. or down. Yeah. You'd think it would go up because of all what's in here and our body heat. This one's reading 17. Okay. Yeah. Difference of temperature over there and over here. Does one point seven spike. Say on. One point seven spike and then gone. Don't want to play. Don't play at the moment. It's a little bit earlier. Two point eight spike. There's something in this corner. That's what I've been There's pictures on the corner there. Um, I always find sometimes that she sits in a seat. Yeah, that's why I put it on the seat. Brilliant. It jumps 2.8. It's usually a little corner. It just sits in the corner. That's certainly where I've been watched from. I don't know. She didn't. Does she owe you money? Yes, well. Wow. Shouted that in my head. How much money? Thousands. Okay. Is it to do a trade? Trading? That's the same question. That's something. <sighs> Running out of questions. <laughs> um, no, phrase it a different way. I don't think he understood the question. Okay, yeah. Um, Okay. What was your relationship with Julia? So business. Business. Okay. Um, what was that Red business? <laughs> You're going to have to do some serious work in a minute because I am red, red hot. How about moving from Marie and seeing John? Go see John. Okay, come over here. I 
Okay, leave Marie alone. Come and speak to me over here. We got a spike on this as well. You can't affect me like you do, Marie. So please come over here. If you have a problem, come and let us know. Come and bang something, please. Else you don't harm anybody in here. There are two other ladies present in here. Go and touch one of them. He said not nicely. Sorry? He said not nicely. What does that mean? When you said about touching one of the other women. He said not nicely. All right. Why does she owe you money? Said she's a bitch. He's getting really quite mad. He's spitting words now, whereas before he was a controlled angry, now he's getting a bit... I don't know whether you want to do anything here, because he can get this, this, he will go for her. <laughs> okay, I ask you to step back from Marie. You're not wanted by Marie. I ask you to leave Marie. Go for Marie. Leave her alone. She's not interested. If you want to come near somebody, come over here, come to me. I ask you to leave Marie alone. You're not to harm anybody in here. Well, my arms are freezing, but yeah. my, my arms are freezing, but I'm, my, my arms are like ice. No, to me they're really hot. Really? Mm. Feel higher up? Yeah. Freezing. Boil in there, freezing there. My turn now, is it? You're going to pick on me. All you want to know is your story. Go on, then flip my head. Flash. Bottom one's temperature. Mm. Top one's uh, EMF. It's uh, how much electrical energy is in the room. Shuttle one. It's gone back down mm. What's that? That's been What's enough. that? No one else has got torsion apart from me. Yeah. I've got torsion. No, no. I mean, no one's had it on. No. I just said something. Why? Move. Weird. That was weird. Oh, I've not moved my hand. My hand with this torch. I haven't moved for the last minute, and I've just got something. Big. That's <laughs> gone down. It's gone down. down. Yeah. You're going round the vortex. Yeah. You're actually spinning around the vortex. I'm moving quite well. Because yeah. you're not, you're not actually yeah. rocking back and forward like you no, should be. You're actually going, going round in around. circles. Yeah. Now what you've got is a vortex, what John's saying, and that mm. is a spiritual doorway that these ghosties can come in and out of. So you won't want to sleep in this room. Well, <laughs> it won't harm you. It's really weird because I try and lock my legs. <clears throat> I mean, when you've had enough, by all means, stop. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm filming you here and you're not rocking backwards and forwards like you think you would be pushing against Quite each right. other. You're going around in circles. <laughs> in fact, you're now doing it a lot. <laughs> Stop when you want to. Are you done yet? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were really spinning. <laughs> think, think with a circle is when you start to spin, you have nothing to lock onto so you can't stop. No, it felt quite relaxed, didn't it? Yeah, it, just... it wasn't unpleasant or anything. 
Mm. No, he won't do. It's just a swirl. Mm. That you Energy. Well done, guys. Mm. <laughs> You've just been spun round in the room by energy. <laughs> in the old Victorian days, and my nan being one of them, and I'm really proud that my nan used to do this, they used to have old fashioned seances which you'd have a nice big thick cloth over the table, you'd have a bell to invite spirit in, um, you'd have the candles, so if anything moved, that's their K2 meters in those days, even though it's probably people heavy breathing and that, um, they'd have a crystal ball to invite spirit through. Um, we, I've got crystals to try and help it along. Um, these are called dowsing crystals, all it is is an am amethyst. Um, I try not to hold mine. Um, John and Steve, they all hold theirs and actually it can get it swinging and moving and stuff like that. But I tend to think if I'm not actually touching it, I'm not influencing it by my own vibe of my body. Um, we have had, actually had it moving in uh, Ride Scout Hall in one of the doorways and it was actually just going around and around in circles. So hopefully, I mean it is going to move because the table is going to move. So, but hopefully we can actually try and get it to swing or go backwards or stop. Um, it's just a visual for you to like, you know, focus on. We are going to sit with our hands, with your little tiny pinkies touching like they would do um, in the Victorian time. Um, this is like the circle to keep everything moving, to keep all your energies and keep you all connected and keep you all safe. So the head of the seance would have actually be like me, making sure that my guide would come in um, and keep you all safe. Um, I'm not going to channel, that's not what I'm all about. I will invite them in to talk with us and hopefully just do it through the K2s. Um, my experience last time in this room I was actually strangled and um, I had ended up someone having to help me to try and get this person out because they did try and take over me. Um, so hopefully that won't happen tonight. So all I'm going to do is, like we did downstairs, you're going to close your eyes and start all this nice deep breathing and all this energy and light coming through your head and pushing it out and round. Okay? And try not to snuff out the uh, candles as you go. Okay, so everybody close their eyes that are around the table. Make sure both of your feet are flat on the floor. We call this grounding. Okay, so you just think of your feet as big roots of a tree going down into the earth and that's what will keep you grounded. If you have your feet crossed over, then you're not actually bound to earth, you're just floating so anything can come and help you, you know, coming into you. So if we do these lovely, nice long deep breaths in and out. Come move the pendulum in the middle. Make it swing. Come scare us, do something. This is getting a bit boring. I'm not impressed. Last time I was here you tried to strangle me. As she said do something that fell down. It fell down mate. Exactly the same time as what Jam was saying. Mm. Like I've got to talk to the that was exactly the same moment that she said do something. Yeah. I was checking up, mate. Turn the Come and see what you got. Blow all the candles out. Knock the crystal off. Spin it round. Touch one of the guys. You just tapped one of the girls on the shoulder just now. Try it with the guys. Take the other picture off in the other room, like you did just now. Took a picture off. Yeah, there's a freeze running around the room. And at the same time that the crystal 
went off and Jan asked for something to happen and that's fell down. Okay. Go on and give us a show in here. Everyone's watching. Can we see a bit of a showman? Or are you too scared? I think you're scared, Janice. Are you trying to pull us? Right. Mm -hmm. Keep the voice in. Try and do the glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim's just keeping his bag and shot from me because of me right over to him and was like, right in there, I'm quite scared. Just skip the life out of me. <laughs> okay, what we're going to try and do, we're trying to get him to move the glass. I want the girls to come back at this table and move the glass down towards me. Use everybody's energy to bring it towards me. Come on, move the glass. What are you waiting for? Who's there? Where's energy around the table? Is he still in here? Does it feel like he's still in here? I'm not getting nothing. Hmm. He's still here. Look down your he's end. Not, no, he's looking at John. He's just watching the table. He's just watching. Seems to be like bullying Marie. If you're happy that Marie's back with us, then can you move the glass towards Marie. Move the glass towards Marie, if that's the person you want to communicate with. You can shout Marie all night. Try moving the glass towards her. Use everybody around the table. Push the glass towards Marie. What an arsehole. He's doing my head in. He's really doing my head in now. <laughs> What's he doing? He's, he's here and he's really strong and he just keeps on poking in my head. And I keep on telling him to move the down glass if that's what he wants to do. And he's just watching now. It's all he's doing, he's just watching what we're up to. The like he's got no interest in playing. But he's standing at the table. If little Miss Grace is here, come play with us. Come forward, sweetie. Come light the lights like you did just a minute ago. Can you step away now? Thank you. Are you doing peekaboo again? I've brought you a nice pretty bonnet this time to play with. You can have that if you make my lights light up.
lights are going in the uh, doorway. Thank you. Can you make the lights in the room go? Right in front of me. I know you like sticking your head around corners. Can you make the light over in that door go? Can you run around? Can you do that for me? Can you step away now? Can you step away? It's like, no, you've asked me to come to this door. You know I have, and now you're telling me to go away. Thank you. Can you go over to the other door now, like you were peeking booing earlier? Can you go make those light up? And again, I've had a nice time that. Mm -hmm. Can you come kind of light my light again? Do in the middle though this time. Come into the middle. Oh, Thank you, me. darling. What, what happened there? Can you see it flash in the middle? Right in the middle. middle. Right in middle. middle. Thank middle. you, sweetie. Bless you. Can you do that one more time for me? That one there? Yeah. yeah. I'm icy, icy, icy cold. Can you go make that one light up again for me? If you know you've got someone in here, maybe you need to try with the ovulus, Janice. Can do. I haven't got it there. It's John got oh, it. Oh, I'll just do that. Again. Right in my ear. If you come up right close to me, right. and you can talk to me, it's not going to harm you. Run. <laughs> Who would you like to run? Are you running? Do you like running? Are you running in and out? Do you like to run? Oh, I'm freezing. Is your name Lucy? Act. What are you going to act for us? Put on a show maybe for us. Deplete. Pardon? Deplete. Yeah. Our batteries. Harriet. Who's Harriet? did wave at you. Who's Harriet? Did she used to care for you? Did Harriet used to care for you? Was she your nanny? Right. 
How old are you? Are you five? Can you tell me how old you are? Lucy, can you come and light the lights again for me? Can you do the one in the middle of the room for me, please? Can you run about? Can you make a noise for me? Can you light the lights for me again, please? Just to let me know you're still here. Lucy, where are you? light, didn't she? Mm. And now she's saying release. Do you want to go from here? Would you like us to pass you over? If you want us to pass you over, light all these lights up for me, sweetie. Do you want to go in the light? Loving. There is love in the light. You want us to move you on? Come light these lights up for me. Oh, it's just gone on the other side of you. Can 
you light the lights in the middle of the room for me? Can you light the lights in the middle of the room for me? Enough. <laughs> light the light in the middle of the room for me. And then that's enough. Then I'll see if I can help you. You have to help me first. Sure. Light the light in the middle of the room. Can you do that for me? Then that's enough. Female. Paranormal. <laughs> Female paranormal. If you light the light in the middle of the room, that's enough. And I'll make sure you go over. It is possible, we can do it. Just light the light in the middle of the room. You did it earlier. One last attempt. Yeah, middle of the room. Good girl. Bless you, surely. Bless you. I'll make sure you go. Thank you, sweetie. There is love and a light. <laughs>